In today's video, I'm gonna run through the only six things you can edit in your Google business profile that make a real difference to your rankings on Google Maps. These changes can give your business an instant boost and put you in the running for a spot in the Google Map Pack. By the way, this is not some bull claim to get you to watch this video. These have been tried, tested, and verified by local SEO pros, including myself, and can be updated in minutes. So if you're looking to improve your online visibility and are short on time, you won't want to miss this. Let's start with the first one, your primary business category. So according to the 2023 Local Ranking Factors Survey, the number one element that Google considers when ranking your listing on Google Maps and the Google Map Pack is your primary business category. So you'd better choose it wisely. Now, for some businesses, choosing a category is a piece of cake, but for others, it's a bit of a head scratcher. Like if you're a landscape gardener, you only have one option. But if you're a lawyer, there are a bunch of categories to choose from. So here is the best way to approach this. Pick a category that fits with your business goals. For example, if you're a lawyer who offers a bunch of services, you might want to go with the most profitable one as your primary category, like divorce lawyer, instead of the more generic lawyer category. This can help your listing show up higher for divorce-related searches and bring in more relevant leads. Sometimes picking the right primary category can be tricky for certain businesses. Let's say you are a heating, ventilation, and air conditioning specialist, also known as HVAC, and you're like, oh, I should go with HVAC contractor, duh. But in reality, people don't often search for HVAC related keywords. Instead, they search for heating or air conditioning related keywords. So to improve your visibility and relevance, it's better to choose a more specific primary category like furnace repair or air conditioning contractor, depending on what's most profitable for you or what time of the year it is. If it's winter, go with furnace repair, for example. If it's summer, switch to air conditioning repair. This will help you get seen by more people and bring in more business. If you need to switch up your primary business category, just log into your profile. From the search interface, click on the edit profile icon. A pop-up should appear. From there, select the category option. That's where you can change up your primary category. Let's move on to the other editable feature that directly influences your Google business rankings, your business name. Based on the findings of the Local Ranking Factor survey, the second most influential factor that can improve your Google Maps listings rankings is your business name. To be more precise, including the keywords you wish to rank for in your business title will significantly boost your rankings. For example, this listing is more likely to rank in the map pack for landscape gardening related keywords as opposed to this one based on the business title alone. That's why many business owners try to game the system by adding random keywords to the business name. But that's a big no-no according to Google's rules. Your business name on Google has to match the real life name of your business as it appears on your website, storefront, and marketing materials. Otherwise, you risk getting your listing suspended. To make the most of this ranking factor and to avoid any listing suspension, the best option is to officially rebrand your business by including the keywords you're aiming to rank for. For example, this electrician could rebrand his business to something like Steglitz Electricians Limited. While this might seem like a drastic step, the potential boost in revenue could be massive, especially if you have more than one location. Sometimes you don't even have to rebrand your business. You can just add some keywords to your business name and reap the benefits. Check out Mesh Clark Rothschild, a law firm that uses their own names for their business. But if you look closely, they seem to present themselves a bit differently in real life. Just take a look at the outside signage. It says attorneys in big letters. And if you visit their website, you'll see it there too. So if they added attorneys to the Google business profile name, it would totally be in line with Google's rules because it reflects how they represent themselves in the real world. And it would really help them rank higher on Google Maps for attorney related searches. Luckily, changing your business name is a breeze. All you have to do is log into your profile, hit the edit icon, select business name, and make the necessary updates. Next up, let's look at the third editable feature of your Google business profile that directly impacts rankings, secondary categories. 
For those of you who don't know, you can add secondary categories to your listing. While secondary categories may not be as impactful as your primary category, they still have a direct influence on your listings rankings and are currently at number seven on the local pack ranking factors survey table. If you're unsure which secondary categories to include in your listing, a good way to figure it out is by researching your competitors. Unlike primary categories, secondary categories are not displayed on listings. To find out which secondary categories your competitors are using, here is what you can do. Download a Chrome extension called GMB Everywhere. I put the link to it in the description below. Go to Google Maps and search for a keyword related to your primary business category. GMB Everywhere will show you all the categories your competitors are using. Just look for the ones that aren't starred, those are the secondary categories. Make a list of the relevant secondary categories you want to add to your listing. Log into your profile and click on the Edit Profile icon from the search interface. A pop-up window will appear. Select the Category option. Under the Primary Category field, click on the Add Another Category link and add your secondary categories. You can add up to nine. Easy, right? Time to talk about the fourth editable feature of your listing that can be quickly updated to enhance your rankings, the website link. The web page you choose to link to your listing is another element that directly impacts your rankings. And while linking to the homepage of your website is common practice, it may not always be the best choice. In the case of running a business with multiple locations, linking to a page on your website that is specific to each location may prove to be a more efficient approach. For instance, the dentist practice Archpoint ID has three branches located in South Lake, Dallas, and Fort Worth, respectively. To cater to each location, they have created three Google Business Profiles, and each profile links to a dedicated location page on their website instead of their homepage. If your business is seasonal, you might also want to switch up the link your listing points to. For instance, this window cleaning company based in Canada also offers snow removal. They probably focus on cleaning windows for most of the year, but come winter, they're all about shoveling snow. So it'd be smart to link their listing to their snow removal page, as well as change their primary business category to snow removal services. That way they can be super relevant and rank high for snow removal keywords when it matters. Changing your website link is super simple. Log into your profile and click on the Edit Profile icon from the search interface. From the pop-up window, click on the Contact tab, then select the Website Link option and update it. Moving on to the next editable feature that will influence rankings, predefined services. Depending on what kind of business you're running, you might have the option to add services to your Google Business Profile. And if you do, you might see a feature that allows you to choose predefined services that match your business category. For example, if you're an electrician, you may see a bunch of services already listed for you to choose from. Now, this feature has been around for a while, but it didn't really help boost your rankings until recently. According to Joy Hawkins, the owner and founder of the very reputable local SEO agency sterlingsky.ca, adding these predefined services can have a major impact on your rankings. And Darren Shaw, founder of whitespark.ca, confirmed this theory after conducting a similar test. So if you've got the service option available on your listing, go check if some of these predefined services are available and simply add them to your profile if you feel they are relevant. To do this, just log into your profile and click on the Edit Services icon. If you're eligible to add services, you'll see it there. Then just choose the relevant predefined services, save them and watch your rankings for those services start to climb. Time to look at the last editable feature that can help your listing rank, Identity Attributes. So Google says that sharing your identity attributes can help customers know more about your business on Google Search, Google Maps, and the Shopping tab. Right now, you can choose from six different attributes like Asian-owned or women-owned. But here is the thing. According to another study by the folks at Sterling Sky, these identity attributes can also impact your rankings for keywords related to those attributes. Pretty cool, right? So if you feel some of these identity attributes apply to your business, just add them to your listing. To see which identity attributes you can add to your listing, just log into your profile and hit the Edit Profile icon. 
Then click on the More tab and you'll be able to see which ones are available to you. Just select the relevant ones and you're good to go. Just so you know, the six elements I went over are the only editable elements in your Google Business Profile that actually impact your rankings. If someone tells you otherwise, they are incorrect. While other features such as Google reviews can definitely have a big influence on your rankings, they're unfortunately not something you can directly edit from your dashboard. This video was specifically made for those of you who want to improve your Google Business Profile rankings fast in the shortest possible time. For those of you who want to take your listing to the next level and dominate your market, I suggest you check this video next. Until next time, happy marketing.